Yo, what is up everyone? This is OJ over here from Player Essence and welcome to another Nintendo NX video. And this one is pretty unique because two of my favorite people on the internet, Emily Rogers and Super Metal Dave, have banded together where Emily Rogers has actually interviewed Super Metal Dave on why he disagrees with her Nintendo NX rumors and his opinion on various aspects of the Nintendo NX. This is a fantastic interview that was on Arcade Girl 64. That's her blog, Emily Rogers. So I thought I would go over this interview with you guys because I found it to be highly entertaining. In addition to Super Metal Dave's video that he just dropped just the other day, it was a live stream that he did. So really cool stuff here. And I'm terribly sorry about not having a video yesterday, guys. I worked over 60 hours this week with one day that was double overtime where I traveled to Los Angeles to work. I was just so tired. I got home uh, yesterday night and I just like knocked out like two hours later. Seriously, like it was, it was pretty funny actually. <laughs> so terribly sorry about not having a video up for you guys. I know I like to do at least one a day. But um, I will make it up with this amazing interview from Emily Rogers and Super Metal Dave. So let's go ahead and get right into it here. So Emily Rogers says, Do you believe NVIDIA is involved with the NX? On May 13th, I reported that NX will not use x86 architecture, and I said NVIDIA was involved. What are your thoughts on all of this? Super Metal Dave responds with, Yeah, it appears to me that NVIDIA is not involved at all. I believe that the NX is multiple devices with home console powered by AMD semi-custom design win that is based on x86 architecture for extremely easy ports from the current line of consoles and PC. The NX handheld, I believe, will use a custom DMP chip made specifically to be compatible with the NX home console. Next question. On August 26th, I reported that the Nintendo NX prototype had a multi-touch screen and the screen had its 720p resolution. What are your thoughts? Super Metal Dave responds with, Yeah, I believe that 720p might actually be more cost effective than a custom designed 540p screen. Multi touch is also very inexpensive, so I do think it will be 720p and multi touch when it's released. Next question Do you believe the rumors that NX will use cartridges? Super Metal Dave responds with, I believe it will be cartridge based. However, Nintendo did patent a device that has a disk drive that could be used as an optional attachment to the NX. So, while I do believe NX will mainly use carts, I don't want to rule out this completely. Next question. On May 13th, I said the NX was struggling to even reach Xbox One levels of power. How powerful do you believe the NX will be? Super Mario Dave responds with, Realistically, I think NX will be above PS4, but below PS4 Pro. Not bleeding edge, but decent. Next question. Why do you believe NVIDIA is not involved? Answer. NVIDIA's market share for Tegra use in mobile devices has only been decreasing since 2015 due to the high TDP of the chip causing inefficiency in battery life, leading mobile device providers to start using other vendors and chips for their devices, like Snapdragon for example. In regards to the Eurogamer rumored device using the Tegra X1, I find it extremely unlikely due to the fact that the device itself seems to be a copy of a failed product that hasn't been picked up by, by any major vendors making it easy to question the chipset being used as fake as well. You may recall Eurogamer was also puzzled by the use of Tegra X1. When combined with the fact that no information from Nvidia points to any chips that would be custom designed for a new mobile device, and the rumored information is in direct contrast with Nintendo's own statements, my choice for AMD is extremely easy to make. Next question, why do you believe Nintendo NX's GPU is from AMD? Answer. Nintendo has been quoted in saying that they are moving towards architecture integration with multiple devices. AMD has been pioneering heterogeneous design for their SOCs for the last few years, allowing for different architectures to be used similarly to together on the same chip. AMD has also been the leading provider in all semi-custom designs for current generation consoles, including Wii U, Xbox One, Xbox One S, PS4, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro, and the upcoming Xbox Scorpio. On the multiple design wins announced, AMD has confirmed two out of three with only one remaining, which they are not able to discuss at this time, but will in the not too distant future. My strong opinion is that this SoC win will be for Nintendo NX. When comparing the pioneering SoC chip design for consoles for AMD versus Nvidia, the choice for myself is clearly AMD. Nvidia has no hints at gaming console development for the Tegra SoC. In fact, information simply points to Nvidia using Tegra's SoC for their self-driving cars initiative 
and will likely be extremely successful in that industry, better using the Tegra technology rather than with mobile devices. Last question. Do you believe the rumors about NX having detachable controllers with motion controls? Answer. While I do believe the NX controller will have some cool rumble features incorporated, as some patents have shown, I don't believe the rest of the rumors regarding the device. Nintendo said that the NX is a brand new concept. The concept rumored on the internet has been done before by multiple companies with the Morpheus X300. The Morpheus X300 looks almost identical and has no consumer interest despite you being able to purchase one right now. I think the NX might have some kind of mobile component or smartphone integration, but definitely not what Eurogamer slash Let's Play Video Game Rumors have reported. So very loaded um, interview here. I want to talk about this real quick. What shows about this interview is that two people that think completely different can come together, can just normally talk about this type of thing and normally um, get along when it comes to this stuff. Because this interview by Emily was very classy. It was very good uh, by her to interview someone that clearly disagrees with all the stuff that she's reporting, you know, and all the stuff that she's um, also linked with Let's Play video games and other stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting that they did come together and, and do this. Um, and that was cool. That was really cool. But getting on to the actual um, interview itself, obviously Super Metal Dave feels that the NX is going to be a home console first with some type of mobile component. Um, or some type of thing that you can hook on or maybe your smartphone attachment play the mobile version of the game But he does feel that it's going to be a home console first and with me specifically I definitely see where Super Metal Dave is coming from I also see in some regards to where Eurogamer is coming from with some of their stuff I do believe personally that the Nintendo NX is going to function as a home console I do believe it's going to function as a home console with a mobile component just like we talked about um, just the other day, I do feel that the NX will have a base home console. Maybe you can plug something in mobile with it, with your smartphone. Maybe there's another separate device that Nintendo has, a separate mobile component that you can plug in, a handheld system. But I do feel that it's going to be multiple devices that work in conjunction with each other. That work in conjunction with each other to either boost power or to either play games and I do feel that it's going to be AMD that's always something that I've said beforehand I've never felt that it's going to be Tegra just because like I said before like Tegra I'm not sure if I've seen anything from them that says that yeah we're going to have this type of technology ready for them some type of technology to where you can integrate smartphones you can integrate another um, a portable you can have that base docking station that does something or that base console that does something I just haven't seen anything from them that points towards that now could they do that sure anything's a possibility I'm just going with my own opinion based on um, some of the information that is out there and it just seems more likely to me that Nintendo would go with trusted vendors that they've used for years look they used the Nintendo 3DS with DMP they used AMD for years with the consoles that they've had with Wii with Wii U, with the GameCube back when that was ATI. So I don't see why Nintendo would just all of a sudden up and run towards Tegra, which Tegra, what has that been in lately? Like what has that been in for mobile devices or for video game consoles? Tegra hasn't been in with anything. It's just been um, Nvidia for PCs and stuff like that and Nvidia for other stuff like driving cars and all that other stuff that they've been using. But what have they done for gaming when it comes to a mobile and console aspect? They've done nothing but their own failed stuff, like the Shield and all that. So, I mean, I don't see why they would do anything like that when AMD has been winning SOCs uh, for, for a while now. And look at all the newest consoles. All of them are using AMD. So, to me, that kind of points towards more of AMD being involved. Just because, once again, Nintendo has been using AMD for years. And AMD has talked about a semi-custom design that they do have that they can talk about a little bit later. It lines up perfectly with the Nintendo NX. So, it's not, like, crazy to think that... It's going to be AMD. It's like not. Um, obviously, like Eurogamer can say what they can say, and that's fine. Um, but I don't take them, Eurogamer, as the be all end all when it comes to my opinion on what stuff is going to use. I do my own um, thoughts, I do my own research, and I just don't feel it's going to be that. But hey, you never know what's going to happen, but that's just my opinion. Um, overall, I thought this was a fantastic interview. I think both of them did a great job, and um, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say 
on the matter. And just to let you guys know, I've been trying to find someone to talk about the Eurogamer article with me on live stream because there's been people that have rushed to my comment section to say, oh, well, this is what they were saying the whole time with Boogie Explained. So, I mean, I'm still trying to find someone who will talk to me live about that because, like, nobody wants to do that um, because everyone's been saying, I said this or I said that. I'm like, hey, well, come on and talk to me live about it. We'll see what I've said and not. Um, and nobody wants to. So, if, if you do, if you have, like, a YouTube channel, you know, and you have some subscribers out there, let me know if you want to talk about it, especially if you feel that the Eurogamer article is right and I've been wrong. So let me know about that in the comment section below. You can contact me. But um, all right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you did like it, let me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Assist for more news, reviews, trailers, tips and tricks, and everything in gaming. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you for the next video. Peace.